Good. Hello, this is uh, Dr. Saud Anwar. We actually want to show you how you can actually use one ventilator to actually give breathing uh, capacity and help to not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but actually seven people. And we can go up to eight if we need to, but we wanted to show you at least with seven. And we've been working collaboratively together as a group of uh, people who have from different backgrounds come together. I want to introduce you to Bob. Bob, show me and tell me what you've been up to. Hi, my name is uh, Robert Connolly. I'm the owner of Interactive Cat Solutions. Um, less than four days ago, I got contacted by an email to try to help out with coming up with a method of applying uh, four hoses from one village to four people. Uh, first thing I got was a hose from an uh, anesthesiologist, and we did our first trials yesterday. Uh, came out with mixed reviews. We had uh, problems with the ventilators interfering. So I came back, I redesigned it yesterday morning. Uh, I sent the files to Kevin Dyer at Interpro Models. He 3D printed this CAD model overnight and supplied this morning. Uh, it's very simple. It has four filters with a coupling that goes directly to the ventilator. There were no issues with uh, interference between the round filter or the square ones. Good. So, so with, with this concept, what we've been able to do is this actually goes inside the inhalation as well as the exhalation part of the ventilator. And then these are the filters which can come together. This actually has four options. So the patient can actually, we can have four connectors with one ventilator and each connector can further be divided into two or more branches if we need to. Here we have Marvin. Marvin is a respiratory therapist, my star. You've seen him before, do the, the good work. And what we've been able to do is a few things. I'll take the, this over here and I'll show you some of the things. So this is the inhalation part of the ventilator and the ventilators we are using are the Puritan Bennett 80, 840 ventilator system. And we actually have that same thing connected on the inhalation part. This is actually now if you look, we have the four branches, and one of those we actually have put a T piece and then divided it into two pieces. And then those each two of them are divided into two more. So this one outlet is equal to four, and then five, six, seven um, patients are connected to this. And then on the exhalation part, again, the similar thing, we have a different color for this so that we can separate them out. This is again the filters that we have placed in. Again, you're seeing the key pieces that we have connected with two except the extra ones and two on this side. And then we move forward and then see that there are three others that are connected to this. So when you look at step back, you see all of these different tubes, which are uh, truly confusing, but actually there's a method to this madness. And that method is allowing for us to be able to currently ventilate one, two, three, four, five, eight, six, and seven patients. And we could potentially get another one and more so if we needed to. And here's the, the, the way to do this. What we have done is, and this is for the pressure control mode, and the inspiratory pressure we have kept at 25. With the inspiratory pressure of 25, we are actually getting a tidal volume of 3,241. Now that number scares you, but you have to divide that by 7, and it comes down to 400 and some 70 or 450 something, which is exactly what you would want on these patients. So inspiratory pressure of 25 that you set up, and then we are obviously using 21% because we don't want to waste the oxygen uh, in the hospital. And we put a peep of 10, and we can go up on the peep more so, but each one of these patients are getting a volume based on the exact settings that we have set up and we are using the pressure control ventilator and with this mindset, with this strategy, we can actually do ventilation for seven at this time, but far more. You want to add more? Nope, that is it. It's just a concept that works in a simulation and if it comes down to mass casualties, this is a concept that I believe can be tried in the field if need be to have a clinical trial. Good. concept works. Now, one more thing I'll just add right now is that we actually did another thing where we were able to um, 
lengthen the tubes far more. And even when we lengthened the tubes, we actually did a pressure check on those. And with 20 feet of the tube, the pressure, the volumes were not impacted. So which is pretty fascinating that you can actually have a single ventilator which can go to different places and we would be able to take care of the patients. So with this, I want to um, share with you later. If anybody has any questions, they can email us. Bob has been kind enough to be able to send us all the details of uh, how to make these devices to make life simple for everyone. And, and please, uh, if you have any questions, reach out to us and we should be able to help you uh, save more lives. I have one thing to follow. The files to be 3D printed are open source. So anybody that email, emails me at bob at intcadsol.com can have a free model for 3D printing. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everyone. Stay well.